Hi, and welcome to your Daily Sparks. You know, finding God's will is something we often talk about. If you want to find God's will, give him your total self as a living sacrifice. That means your body and your thoughts and your mind so that he can renew you from within. Romans 12 talks about this, if you let him. So there are three checkpoints in finding God's will. Let me run through them briefly with you this morning. Checkpoint number one, the guidance of God's word is primary and it's basic. In its, uh, it's interesting to note that many of us say that we're interested in finding God's will, but we balk at having to spend any time in his word. You know, we, we say we want to know God's will for our life, but we don't want to check our plans and our habits against the word of God. How can you say you're seeking God's will if you don't know what the Bible says? This is like going to someone for advice, but not letting them talk. You, you, you know, you just actually want them to agree with you with everything that you say, and you don't let them have an opinion. So that's checkpoint one is the word of God. Checkpoint two is the witness of the Holy Spirit that comes as you walk with the Holy Spirit. Prayer is vital here. It's unfortunate that we've made, you know, the, the phrase, I'll go and pray about it, as a great phrase of procrastination, something of a cliche. Maybe we should change the phrase to, I'll go and talk to God about it. See, with God, you know, um, you, need, you can need to talk with him, not at him. That's the important thing. Some prayer lists, some people use prayer lists and they just run off this shopping list in front of God. That's not really praying. Praying is speaking, but then listening to what God has to say to you. So the second thing is, is, is prayer and listening to God. The third thing, and this is the last thing, the third checkpoint, is to consider the circumstances. I mean, suppose you feel that you've got the word and the spirit and those sorts of things are lining up. How do you then evaluate your circumstances? Well, this can be intriguing, but also exciting. For one thing, you have to act in faith on what you already know. It's evident that there are certain actions that, that, are, that are worth taking. You know, sometimes circumstances just dictate this to us. Some people call this trying different doors. Sometimes God will slam a door shut. Don't get upset about it. Move on to another one and see if that one is open. You may have to try several doors to discover the right one. No, God's will doesn't drop out of the blue in a special delivery letter, but he's written it to you in his word. He will talk to you and then the, give you the inner witness of his Holy Spirit. And he will guide you and, and direct you through circumstances, closing and opening doors. You can be very religious about these three checkpoints, or you can use them like a Christian, like a true Christian, in faith and in trust and in commitment. Then you will see from your own experience how God's ways can really satisfy you. So if you're facing decisions today, remember the word, the spirit and circumstances, but in that order. When I'm facing a big decision like moving our church to downtown Nambour, I ask God for scripture and he's given it to me time and again. I ask God for that witness in my spirit and then I ask for him to open the doors and we've had nothing but green lights. That's how to find God's will in your life. God bless you. We'll see you tomorrow on Sparks.